The Xavier match we knew was, you know, the, the key actually for the weekend. And we, we had the, the right lineup in, we had the matchups that we wanted. Um, I think that the difference between Xavier and us was two, twofold. One is the courts were faster than we were used to, and I think that that made a, a slight difference, particularly in the match that was the last on the court to determine, and that would have been Jess Podlovsky. And then um, also the crowd at Xavier. Whenever you play Xavier, you play the families, mm -hmm. and um, good for them. They, they bring out a lot of people, and they made a lot of noise. We won the doubles point. I thought going into the singles we really could still take it. They're very tough at one and two. I knew we would really have hard matchups there, but we were comfortable at the bottom of the lineup at six, five, four, and three, and normally we do very well there. Um, when Jessica was the last one standing, I thought that was the matchup that we wanted. But the fact is that the Xavier kid played really a wonderful match, and you have to give her a, a lot of kudos that she played so well. Um, and they, they squeaked it out 4-3, and we're hoping to play them again. Well, you know, they've responded so well this year to a lot of hardship. They responded well to Julia's being out for the year, and um, they responded well to this loss. I thought, you know, we didn't get back to the hotel till midnight. We had to eat then and then turn around and drive to Dayton the next day, and then one of the players, Ariel Griffin, is um, suffering with a very bad cold and I decided to bench her and let her rest mm -hmm. and uh, everybody had to then step up even more um, tired and now missing yet another player and I was really pleased with their effort and um, th their intensity level was good considering what we've just gone through mm -hmm. um, yeah. and uh, you know they this team has continually surprised me in their toughness so right now I think um, you know, I, I think that really they're still in good shape, although we're tired. Um, if we can get Ariel back on the court, we're, we're really okay. And I'm, I, because of the surprising results so far, we're doing better than I even thought. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy still. Great coaching. <laughs> um, actually, we, we spend a lot of time on doubles in the fall when we are outdoors and we have that time. Um, and we break it down because most kids that come to college tennis do not know how to play doubles. So we break it down in a way that I hope makes sense. Um, we teach them about positioning. Um, we spend a lot of time in if this happens, this is probably going to happen. And we do a lot of that kind of thing. We do a lot of walking through those kinds of drills. Um, and then also the coaches get a chance to come up with the pairings that work and we've been lucky in that you try to find kids that really will on the court get along and also get along off the court and sometimes that's really right. I have made some mistakes in the, in the past in terms of pairings but a lot of times getting a chance to put these kids together and then playing match after match after match has really been beneficial. And as you know we have yet to lose the doubles point so mm -hmm. we're hoping to continue that trend. You know, this is this is a tough one. I mean, Boston College is 45 in the country, probably the best team that we'll play all year. Um, he's got a bunch of seniors and a bunch of freshmen that are in the starting six. Um, they're six and one. They've beaten Harvard. They've beaten Brown. They've beaten Syracuse. I mean, they're they're a really tough team and a and a top team. We play them at their place at an indoor facility at a, at a club in the area. Um, for me, it's a lot of individual goal setting as opposed to, oh, we're going to try to beat Boston College. What I'm going to ask the kids to do, as I usually do in a situation like this, is to sit down and write individual realistic goals and that they then feel that they can attain those. And then, then we go out and we just do our thing. Yeah, absolutely. And then, then we know that after that we, um, we get some downtime. I'm going to give them Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off. And then we'll come back and do some double practices before we head off to play LIU at the Billie Jean King Tennis Center. So this way they get a chance to, I mean, they all want to see how do I stack up against the best. And I think that will spur them on.